Okay. I'm going to demonstrate the bot as it currently stands, each of the major functions using RazaX. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, RazaX gives you uh, quite a nice breakdown of all the intents and the entities that it's recognizing. So if we start with a simple request. We just say hi, and the intent is recognized as a hello intent. And uh, the response to that is to say, Hello back. If we try something like uh, what is the meaning of life, a little bit more complicated, and um, that is recognized as out of scope. So it's, it's not um, not understood it, it's understood that it's a, a request that it can't currently handle, and it <clears throat> replies by telling you what it can handle, which is music, navigation, weather, calls, messages, and chat. So if we try for some music, we can say, uh, play some uh, Edge something by, play something by Ed Sheeran. And hopefully that's recognized as music and music play. And it recognizes Ed Sheeran as a person and an artist. And it uh, picks a track, um, Shivers by Ed Sheeran. So uh, that's on uh, Spotify. If we were to try play Madonna, then um, what it's actually found here, it's found something featuring Madonna, um, but not Madonna the artist. And quite often it might actually even find a track, a song called Madonna, um, because uh, it's um, very hard to tell the difference between an artist and a, a song and a track and to know what you mean. If you wanted to get more sophisticated, you could look up and maybe find out which is the most popular. So let's now try uh, perhaps some um, um, calling. We could call Vivek. Here it's, um, uh, it's recognized um, call make, and it's recognized uh, Vivek as a person. It's found Vivek in the phone book and looked up the phone number and it calls Vivek. If we now try and call Simon, unfortunately Simon's not in the phone book, so it says, well, who would you like to contact? And I could put in someone who is in the phone book, or I could put in a number. So in this case, if I put in a number, it will dial that number. We could send a message to Vivek, who knows in the phone book. Recognizes that as message sending. Um, client has found Vivek in the phone book, and it now asks what message we'd like to send, and we can say hi, which hopefully isn't recognized as a high intent, a low intent, recognized as part of the message, and then it asks for confirmation, and we say yes, and then it will confirm the uh, message that we're sending. We try some navigation. We can go navigate to Paris. It's recognized that as uh, navigate intent. It's recognized Paris as a location and it says, would you like to drive to Paris? We say yes. It's navigating to Paris. We can try uh, find me a restaurant. Recognize that as navigate search with a location type of restaurant. It's only found one restaurant um, <coughs> called Vikings and it says would you like to drive there? You say no. <coughs> and if we try again actually picking a random number of restaurants between north and five. Uh, so in this case, it's still again only got one. But if I keep trying, I should get a choice of restaurants. Right, <clears throat> this time we found uh, five different restaurants and we could either put 
uh, a number, so one, the first one, or we could put first or second or third, or we can put the name of the uh, restaurant. So I could put in here Pizza King, and I don't have to spell it right, um, it could do a rough match, and recognize that as Pizza King, and ask if we want to drive there, and we say yes. And you can see that um, it says it's navigated to Pizza King, and it's also added it to the active route. So we, we've got um, a slot active route, which is going first to Pizza King and then to Paris. Uh, we can ask, um, what is the weather in Paris? Tell us the temperature, say, oh, and uh, what about um, Antigua? And it recognizes, <clears throat> we're still talking about weather, um, and that Antigua is uh, a, bit, a bit warmer than Paris. Um, and I think that's more or less all of the applications. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we can ask uh, many other uh, things of all of these applications. Um, and uh, in most cases, it will recognize the correct intent and the correct entities. Um, the challenge comes where you have uh, unexpected conversations. And uh, this is where it's very important to gather data using uh, conversation-driven development and to develop stories um, to cope with the unexpected requests that, that people make. Um, but at the moment, we've got, I think, a fairly good response to the expected intents, and we have some that are unexpected. Um, and the scope there within Raza is pretty good for actually identifying, um, for, for helping you to identify um, what people want to ask about and also to take into account context um, and to predict um, what you're asking about. And also, I'll just show uh, very briefly on this Insights tab, you've got some quite helpful, um, um, help, helpful feedback within Razorex, which tells you what's being confused with what and wh where the problems are. So you can see here, you know, for example, navigation time, it says it's confused with call, make and cancel. Um, so, you know, you need either some more examples there or maybe to look at the examples you have and to see where, uh, where those might be confused. Um, it's very easy to, uh, when you're thinking in terms of one application, to think of things people might want to say um, and forget that actually sometimes people on other applications are going to be asking very, very similar things. So you get a lot of confusion between different applications. Um, and this insight gives you a pretty good understanding of what's being confused with what and also which ones uh, you're getting um, accuracy that isn't very good. Um, and it gives you suggestions as to how to solve those problems. Okay, and that's um, that's the demo of the of the bot.